오늘 뭐해 is a K-pop DIY and I know I have not filmed a DIY like a month from now and I'm so sorry it's just that I have finals school to do and school is my priority so that comes first but for YouTube um, but yeah if you guys see this video that means I am officially on summer break so there will be so many K-pop DIY and more videos to come so look out for that I feel like I have to say all of this from now on in all my video is that if I did not use your favorite group or use the picture, just change out, follow the same step, like switch out the picture. And yeah, I think that's all I had to say. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's get into the video. So starting off, here's the material you would need. Starting off, I'm just going to take a wooden plaque I got from Michael and then apply washi tape on it. I just make some random geometric shape because this has been really trendy. I have been seeing it on Pinterest, Tumblr, and all that. And then taking my acrylic paint and I'm just going to paint in the geometric shape I did as you can see and I just choose pastel color which is like kind of twice come back I'm um, this is the theme I'm going for but once again you can use any color paint you want and these paint are acrylic so you can see what I'm doing and once the paint has dry I'm just going to tear out my tape but I don't know but this was like the most fun thing in this DIY and then go back with your acrylic paint to fix the mistake as you can see what I'm doing right now once the paint has completely dried, now taking my bold pin, I am just going to like place it how I want it and then using my hot glue gun to glue it all down. And that's basically it once you have glued down all your bold pin. And then printing out your favorite K-pop group picture, I just print out twice and I clip them on. I print them out kind of like Polaroid looking. And you can see it looks so cute and Tumblr. <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, yeah. So for this next DIY, I just got a frame from Walmart which was really inexpensive and then I print out the EXO logo and the member picture. I put my picture in collage on pink, pink monkey, pink, wow. And I just cut it out as the EXO logo using it as a template and then re-trimming it as I have to. So make sure that the template is actually small as the picture in the collage because that's really important. And then I just place it into the frame as how I want it and just put everything back as how it is and you're done basically. As you can see it looks cool I guess. So for this last DIY, first I start off by measuring my mason jar and as you can see I already put the size is 8.19 by 3.5 and then I just print out the picture as the same size and then like and then I just put the picture into the jar. Um, I was kind of disappointed as how it turned out because it was like not really tight to the mason jar or turn out as how I expected but then using some twine I'm just going to like wrap around and make a bow and then putting in some fake flower I got from Walmart and also I spray paint the cap white which I twisted so on. yeah I just sprayed the cap white and I twisted it back on as you can see this was probably my most favorite DIY because it looks so cool and cute and tumbler looking so I hope you guys enjoyed that video thank you so much for watching um there will be more DIY to come like I say since I'm on summer break now and I'm able to film let me know in the comment down below which one was your favorite and if it wasn't, there's more DIY to come since I know that's what you guys like. Also, if you guys are watching Mira, Mira of the Witch, let me know in the comment down below. That drama is so good. Like, I'm on episode 9 right now. And it's so good. It's so good. You guys should watch it. If you do, let me know in the comment down below also. So, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.